So I've come across this care company and amazingly, they are not only recruiting healthcare assistants, but they are recruiting nurses as well and providing sponsorship. I know a lot of nurses are kind of getting fed up looking for nursing jobs here in the UK, but this care company is recruiting both nurses and healthcare assistants. So if you're interested in knowing the details, please stick around, watch till the end, because I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can apply. Hello, everyone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Diana. On my channel, I share job opportunities for healthcare workers to successfully migrate to the UK. Anytime there is any immigration or update from the UK NMC, I do share it on this platform as well. So if you're looking to migrate to the UK, or if you're looking for anything related to UK migration, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. And please share this video with others. So the name of the care company I'm talking about is Alpha Healthcare. I came across this care company online and I just couldn't wait to share it because they are recruiting nurses and healthcare assistants as well. So I'm going to go through the healthcare assistant role and then show you how to apply. Then I'll go ahead and share the nursing job opportunity. Let's go over some of their package and benefits. They offer a friendly and supportive environment for you to learn and then grow. And for all staff, they have full-time and part-time posts. So at least it gives you some kind of flexibility. There is also pension contributions, paid attendance at induction trainings. There is also comprehensive induction training, career development opportunities. Another interesting thing is paid breaks. Not all care companies pay for their break. For some care companies, if you work for like 10 hours and you go for one hour break, that one hour break is not paid. So eventually you get paid for nine hours. But for this company, they have stated that they pay breaks. They also offer subsidized staff meals. There is also an additional benefit for staff nurses. They pay your NMC registration and annual subscription which is wonderful not all care companies are going to do this for you there is also nurse development workshops i personally think alpha healthcare is a good company to work with because they've got excellent pay rates they are offering you certificate of sponsorship they are also offering you all of this training as well as even paying for your nmc registration so if you know of somebody who benefits from this opportunity kindly share and if you're interested please go ahead and apply as soon as possible they are recruiting healthcare assistants to look after people with complex care needs and they have both nights and day shifts available. So they said, as a complex care healthcare system, it is desirable that you have a bit of experience in a similar role. So if you have any experience in looking after anybody with complex healthcare needs, it will be to your advantage. And they said, it's equally important that you demonstrate the right behaviors and attitude for working in adult care environments. They will provide a full induction program, which will enable you to be fully prepared for your role. And in return, they offer an excellent rate of £9.60 to £10.10. People are. They've got both full time and part time hours available up to at least 48 hours per week. They also provide training, formal training on site. There is free parking if you drive. They've got well supported environments. Regarding their shift patterns, they will have long days and nights. So if you're working a day shift, patterns are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and for night shifts, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. If you are not 100% sure of the rules and responsibilities that is expected of you as a healthcare assistant, well, they've listed a few of them over here and you're expected to provide person-centered care and personal care to residents in all aspects of their daily living. Also, they will expect you to be able to support the clients or the residents with individual needs such as assisting them in meals, dressing, bathing, and all aspects of personal care in accordance with the individual's personal need. You should also be able to understand personal responsibilities with regard to health and safety regulations at work. The most exciting part of it that actually pushed me to do this video is that they welcome applications from overseas candidates who require certificate of sponsorship. So this is really a good opportunity. So in order for you to apply for this job, you can either apply by phone as they've stated here or you apply online. But if you wish to submit application online, which I highly recommend, you just click on apply online. It will bring up the application form. So you just have to take your time filling all the details correctly so you put your first name last name you put your email address contact number you put your contact address as well ni number is not a compulsory field because if you're applying from overseas obviously you will not have uh, national insurance but if you're applying from the uk then you can put your national insurance they are also asking for employment history with employment history you just have to give account of whatever you've worked your work experience any healthcare experience that you have this is what you have to list all of it whichever hospital or care home you've worked before whichever health facility you've worked the number of years you worked the experience that you had from those areas you just have to list it all over here to make it easier for you you just have to go back to your cv and on the section that you've detailed your 
employment history. You just have to write it all and paste it in this employment history because they want to know what you've done before and the experience that you've got. Do you require a work permit to be employed in the UK? If you're applying from overseas, you have to take yes because definitely you need work permits. Have you worked for Alpha Care Homes before? If you are from overseas, obviously the answer will be no. Have you got any relatives residing in the list? You just have to take either yes or no and upload your CV for this room. This is the most important part because the CV is what sells you out or make your application stand out. I highly recommend you checking the video I did on how to draft a perfect CV for a healthcare assistant job. So I'll leave the link to that CV video in this video description so you can click on it have a look at the sample I've provided and use it as a guide to amend your own CV. So if you have your CV on your laptop, you just have to click on choose file, upload it, and then you go ahead with your supporting statement for this application. In this session, you have to explain why you think you are the right fit for this job. This is also a very, very important session. You need to write whatever experience that you you've had in the past, whatever job you've done, the skills that you think you have that makes you the right fit for this job. And once you are done, you just have to click on these two boxes to accept the terms and conditions. And then you click on submit. The application is quite simple and straightforward. So what you need to actually pay attention to whilst you are filling in this application is the CV and also the supporting statement. So if you've got a cover letter, it is quite similar to you writing a supporting statement because in the cover letter, you are actually selling yourself, writing an application, telling the employer why you think you are the right fit for this job or why they should consider you. I've done a video on a sample cover letter that you can use to apply for healthcare assistant jobs in the UK. So I'll leave the link to that as well. You can check it out. If you have any questions regarding this job application, they've got their email address over here, which I've highlighted. They've also got their telephone number. I'm going to leave all of these contact details in the video description. A big thank you to Amber who are the sponsors of this video. The last thing you want is to struggle with accommodation as an international student in a country that you don't even know. Most people who tend to study in other countries don't normally have friends or family that they can stay with to settle in within the first few weeks. So they tend to resort to hotels, Airbnb. Not only is it expensive, it also makes you feel so distracted knowing very well that you don't really have a permanent place to stay. To save yourself the stress of having to go through all of this with accommodation as a student, I've got the solution for you. Number one student accommodation that is highly recommended worldwide is AMBA. AMBA is a highly rated and recommended website where both local and international students can go and book safe and comfortable student accommodation which is close to their universities. It's the largest student accommodation provider and they've got accommodation over 100 cities in countries like UK, Australia, France, Germany, just name it. So irrespective of the country that you plan to study in, there is always an accommodation for you by AMBA. The benefits you get from booking your student accommodation with AMBA is that they have 24-hour service and they assist you throughout the entire booking process until you arrive in that country. They've also got a free cancellation policy whereby in case anything goes wrong with your visa, if there's any delay, you can always get your money back without having to pay any penalty. Penalty. They've also got a variety of student accommodation you can choose from. So you can choose either to be on your own in a studio or in a shared accommodation. They've also got a budget-friendly student accommodation ranging from high to low. So irrespective of your budget, there is always an accommodation for you with AMBA. To save yourself the stress and also having to spend a lot of money on Airbnb hotels, I'm just going to leave the link to AMBA website in my video description. So all you need to do is just click on it and then type in the university that you're going to and it will bring out all the list of accommodation that Amber has near that invest so that it will be easy for you to settle in and study. Please don't forget to share this video and the link as well with so many others because I believe there are so many other students worldwide who are struggling and need help with finding accommodation. So let's go on to the job opportunity for registered nurses and with the staff nurse they have sponsorship available as well. So let's go to the details of this particular job. They've stated a few uh, key accountabilities or let me see the roles and responsibilities. So this is a, a list of all the roles and responsibilities. So I would advise that if you are drafting your CV to apply for this job, make sure you read through all of these key accountabilities or roles and responsibilities. Pick up the keywords in the roles and responsibilities that is listed. Make sure you mention them in your CV or you align them with your CV so that they will know that indeed you are the right fit for this job. In order to apply for this job, call the HR department on this number or email jobs at alphacaregroup.co.uk. You can either apply by phone or apply online. If you wish to apply by phone, 
If you click on it, it will bring up their telephone number. If you wish to apply online, which I highly, highly recommend, you will just have to click on apply online. It will open up the application form and then you fill in your details, including your name, email address, contact number, your address, and your employment history. You just copy the employment history in your CV over here and explain it a bit further. If you're applying from overseas, definitely you will need a work permit. So you have to click yes. And have you applied to Alpha Care Home before? If you have, yes. If you haven't, you click on no and upload your CV. This should be a well-detailed nursing CV if you're applying as a registered nurse. And then you write your supporting statement as a registered nurse. You just have to tick on these two boxes to agree to the terms and conditions and you click on submit. So this is a wonderful opportunity and I'm happy to share this with you and I hope that you send in your application as soon as possible and I wish you the very best in this job application. So consider subscribing to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that the moment I upload any new video or any opportunity comes up, you don't miss it. So I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.